Hello everyone, Pat Barber here with Legit or Shit, and this episode we have a bit of straps and uh, some belts. Now, all of these are from the wadlife.com.au. I'm actually wearing one of their t-shirts as well. They sent me a box of gear, but they did not tell me what to say about it, and uh, I'm gonna give you whether or not this is legit or shit gear. Now, here's what we got is straps. Now, first of all, what a strap is, these are lifting straps, and they're basically made to allow your grip to be saved when you're doing uh, heavy deadlifts or even some light Olympic lifting and technique work. Uh, the idea is that if you're doing multiple sets of hook grip deadlifts that you might rip your darn thumb off, so people a lot of times use straps to focus on other things. My thing is, if you've got bad grip or weak grip, don't use straps. You want to get better at your grip. But if you're looking to just work maybe your posterior, you're looking to work uh, just the positions and you're not want to focus, you don't want to focus on how much your thumb hurts, straps are not the worst thing to use. Um, here's what we got. There are three different kinds. There's two leather straps and then one cloth strap. Now, the two different kinds of leather straps that we have, um, one has this little pad here. The other one does not have a little pad here. And basically how these work is they s go through the circle on one side, goes around your wrist, whoop, whoop, all the way down, and then it'll wrap up and around the barbell, and then you hold the actual grip rather than holding the bar. And that prevents the bar from sliding out because it's wrapped around there, and they're, they're surprisingly useful when you're working for positioning stuff. Now, as far as these bad boys go, and when they fall on the scale of legit or shit, um, I think both of these cloth ones are, sorry, not the cloth ones, the leather ones are legit. I personally love the leather ones. If you're gonna purchase straps, the leather ones are significantly softer. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but in my mind, it's worth it. It's a one-time buy, you have them forever, and I love them. Whether or not to go with the pad or not, I think the pad is unnecessary. Um, some people might like that little bit of a bulk behind the hand there. Uh, to hold it into place. For me, it feels unnecessary. So for me, these fall into the shit category. It's not that it's a shit strap, but I wouldn't buy those. I personally would buy the ones without the pad behind it because that's how I roll. As far as the cloth ones go, these cloth ones, they have two different kinds of the cloth ones. I only have one of them here right now. They have one that has these little nubs on it uh, that apparently grip a little harder and then one that doesn't have those nubs. But it's the same basic system. Dum -da -da -dum -dum -dum. Put it through, go here, wrap it around, shoop, 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 and then grab onto it. These nubs, I don't think are necessary, but they do hold a little bit better uh, than it would if it was just cloth. As far as whether or not it's legit or shit, I think it's legit. I think it's a totally legit strap. Feel free to buy them and you'll, you'll get a lot of use out of them. So no need to go too much in detail there. Legit, legit. Let's talk about the belts. Now, weightlifting belts are used by people incorrectly and correctly. The idea of a belt to me is uh, a little silly at times. When you're training, you're doing your best to get stronger, right? And you're trying to do your best to you be stronger, not external objects make you stronger. What a belt does is it allows you to push against it and not have to brace your midline, your abs, your erectors, all that fun stuff, in exactly the same way that you would uh, if you didn't have a belt on. So if you didn't have a belt, you wouldn't have to, you, you, you would have to figure out how to get that strength from inside versus resorting to uh, an external object like this bad boy here. Now, that being said, I do think belts have a bit of a, a usefulness to them, similar to the way straps do. When you want to focus on maybe just leg strength or just leg drive, or you're competing. Yes, son. Oh, wow. Or, you, or you're competing in the sport of powerlifting or even Olympic lifting, if, if that's your jam, um, they, or, or CrossFit, whatever it may be. If they allow you to use a belt, belts allow you to brace in a different way and, and it doesn't take quite as much energy if you know how to use them correctly. So what I would suggest doing is understand how to use a belt. For most of your training, don't use a belt so you can get a stronger midline. Um, but then learn how to utilize a belt to maybe just focus on leg drive for a day or focus on a different kind of bracing. For me, they're, they're not something I use in my day-to-day -day training because I'd rather just have that strength come from me rather than bracing against an external object. Because in life, you're generally not like, hey, let me go grab my belt, put my belt on, and see how this one works. Anywho, as far as belts go, is this legit or shit belt? And they make a couple different kinds. This one is a uh, not a leather belt. It's a cloth belt or a nylon belt. 
Um, it's all the same size on this one. Sometimes they taper. Bad boy goes around here. Whoop, whoop. Oh, knocked my table. Um, goes through in here, goes under. Hip. Well, this belt is the wrong size for me. <laughs> so with regards to this belt and me, this is a shit belt for me because it is too big. You want it to where you can kind of cinch it down really, really, really tight. So err on the side of getting a slightly too small belt and having someone help you work your way into it if you're going to use one. As far as the feel of these belts, though, this is the second one I've tried. Uh, I wanted to use the one that was out of the package. They're legit. Uh, I like how it fits. It seems pretty simple all the way around. I like that it's not getting bigger in the back. That's not my jam. I don't like those. Um, and then as far as a classic nylon belt versus a, uh, a leather belt, you're going to usually find these are a little bit less expensive and they do the same job. Anyway, as far on the binary scale, this bad boy goes as a legit. This is a size large. I'm a 32 inch waist and this is much too large for me. I would probably get a small, uh, medium or small. Um, yeah, that's it. So that's it for this episode of Legit and Shit. Straps, legit. Cloth straps, legit. If you're choosing between the behind the hand or not behind the hand, I would say go for not behind the hand little pad thingy. In that mind, my mind, that's shit. Um, but stick with these ones. These are my faves right here. Cloth, or sorry, leather. No behind the hand strap. Simple, beautiful, elegant, soft, supreme. Love it.